Hello everyone, I am Sada Shorao and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important Java collection interview questions. The first question is Differences between hash map and hash table. Hash map lets you have null values as well as one null key. The hash table doesn't allow a null values as a key and value. The iterator in the hash map is fail fast. If you change the map while iterating, you will know. The enumerator for the hash table is not a fail safe. Hash map is unsynchronized. Hash table is synchronized. Hash map does not allow the multiple keys to be null. It can have multiple null values. I am discuss about some of the perspectives. In the case of synchronized synchronization, hash map is no and hash table it's a synchronized and hash map is not a thread safe and hash table is a thread safe. Null keys and null values are allowed in the hash map. One null key is allowed and one null value is allowed in the hash map. It not allowed the null keys and null values in the hash table. Uh, while coming to the iterations, hash map is a fail fast iterator and a hash table is the fail safe iterator. The hash map is performance is very high and uh, hash table performance is very low compared to hash map. The super class of legacy is hash map is abstract map and super class and uh, legacy of hash table is dictionary. The next question is how does a hash table internally maintain a key value pace? Tree map actually implements the sorted map interface which extends the map interface. In the tree map, the data will be sorted in ascending order of the keys according to the natural order for the key classes or by the comparator provided at certain time. Tree map is based on the red block tree data structure. The next question is What are the different collection views? that maps provide map provide three collection views the first one is key set key set allows a maps contents to be viewed as a set of keys uh, the next one is values collection allows a maps content to be viewed as a set of values the next one is entry set allows a map contents to be viewed as a set of key value map mappings there are the three different collection views available in the map. The first one is key set, the second one is values collections and third one is the entry set. Entry set is a collection of key and value sets. And key set is a collection of all keys and value collection is all the collection of values. The next question is what is the key set view? Key set is the set returned by the key set method of the map interface. It is a set that contains all the keys present in the map. The key set holds all the keys in the map. What is the value collections view? A value collections view is a collection of returned by the values method of the map interface. It contains all the it contains all the objects present as a value in the map. A value collection view is a collection written by the values method of the map interface. It contains all the objects present in the values in the map. What is the entry set view? Entry set view is the set that is written by the entry set method in the map and contains the object of type map. Entry each of which has both key and values. Here entry set is a contains both key and value. Finally a map is the different views. They are key set, value, collections and entry set. Entry set is a collection of key and value. 
and values is a collection of all the values in the map and key set is the collection of all the keys in the map the value method is available in the map it returns the all the values in the map and key set is a method available in the map it returns all the keys in that map the next question is how do you sort an array list of user defined object create an implementations of the java.lang.comparable interface that know how to order your objects and pass to pass it to java.util.collection.sort list comma comparator creating create an implementations of a java.lang.comparable interface that knows how to order your object and pass it to java.util.collections.sort of list comma comparator if you want to sort the sort your user defined objects by using the by overriding uh, by implementing our uh, comparable interface or uh, you can use the collection dot sort method it uh, takes the list of values and whatever we are asking comparator object the next question is what is the comparable interface a comparable interface is used to a comparable interface is used to sort the collections and arrays of objects using the collections dot sort method and java dot util dot array sorts method respectively the object of this class implementing the comparable interface can be ordered a comparable interface in the generic form in is written as follows the interface comparable where t is the name of the type parameter all the classes is implemented in the comparable interface must be implements the compare to method that has written type as an integer a sign of the compare to method as follows what is a comparable interface a comparable interface is used to sort the collections and arrays of objects using the compare dot sort method a java dot util dot array dot sort method respectively a objects that class implementing the comparable interface can be ordered we can you we can override the we can implement the comparable interface we need to give the one implementation method that is called compare to method here we can do do it our own sorting order the next question is how garbage collection is done in java in java when a object is not referenced anymore garbage collection takes place and the object is destroyed automatically for automatic garbage collection java calls either system.gc or either runtime.gc method in java when an object is not referenced anymore garbage collection takes place an object is destroyed automatically for automatic garbage collection java calls either system.gc method or runtime.gc method the next question is what is the difference between stack and queue stack and queue both are used for both are used as a placeholders for the collection of data the primary difference between a stack and a queue is that stack is based on last in first out principle while queue is based on first in first out principle a stack is a non a stack is a non primitive linear data structure in which insertion and deletion of elements takes place from only one end known as a top that's why it follows last in first out and q it is a non primitive linear data structure in which insertion and deletion of elements takes place from two opposite ends rear and front respectively that's why it is in first in first out whenever you are inserting the first element it went out for first only because of the data 
because of the data stretches which insertion and deletion of elements takes place from two opposite ends rear and front thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.